The Middle East has always been a flashpoint in world politics. At this particular moment, though, the region is especially tense with the U.S. pullout from Iraq, Iran's nuclear program, and, of course, the fallout that we're seeing from the Arab Spring. Joining us now is former Senator William Cohen, who was Secretary of Defense under President Clinton. His latest novel, Blink of an Eye, is a thriller that explores many of these issues in the Middle East. Secretary Cohen, great to have you with us here this morning. Congratulations on the book. We will, of course, talk about the book coming up. I want to ask you about a a few things first, uh, about what we're dealing with on a day-to-day basis here. In times of war, um, presidents often look to their commanders on the ground for for accurate information. Yesterday, during the Senate Armed Committee Services Committee meeting, um, Joint Chiefs of Staff Martin Dempsey acknowledged that not one commander on the ground um, advised that it would be wise to pull all the troops out of Iraq, which is what President uh, Obama is is doing here in the next in the next few weeks. What advice would you have given, and, and how do you feel the president has acted in this situation? I didn't see the uh, interview. I saw just little snippets of the the replay, and the question for me would be, did the top military advisors, did the chairman of the Joint Chiefs uh, meet with the president and say, here are the options. If we keep uh, a certain number of, uh, of our troops there, uh, under what circumstances? Are they uh, under our jurisdiction, are they, uh, under our rule, our immunity, or are they, are they under the, um, the rule of the, uh, the Iraqi? That would be a big issue for the president's side. But clearly, he has to have a series of options presented to him. And from that uh, give and take that I saw, I, I, it was unclear to me uh, whether or not he was asked his opinion, whether it's wise, unwise, were there levels of troops from 10,000, 20,000. I heard the number 3,000 uh, at one time was being discussed. So hard for me to make a judgment on that. But I think clearly, President of the United States, Commander in Chief, needs to have uh, the advice, straight advice coming from the uh, his uh, advisor, principal military advisor, in terms of what are the risks involved uh, in keeping our troops there, what are the rewards if we do keep them there, are the seeds of democracy settled enough that we can leave and uh, believe that Iraq can defend itself adequately. Those are issues that any president has to have as key advisors give. In, in terms of some of those issues, some of this did come up. There's a little bit of an exchange between Senator McCain and Defense Secretary Panetta, and, and Senator McCain essentially saying that there should have been, the president should have done a better job negotiating. Uh, Secretary Panetta said, look, at the end of the day, you're dealing with a sovereign nation. We can't tell them what what we think is, we can't tell them essentially what to do. Um, I mean, do you agree with that, that at the end of the day, you do have to defer to the country you are in? At the end of the day, that is our position in every country that uh, we operate. We are there at the um, at the invitation and the sufferance of the uh, sovereign government. And if they want us to leave, we have no uh, choice but to leave, unless we intend to occupy a country. Mm-hmm. And clearly, this whole uh, effort was set up to create a democracy, which means that, that they uh, are a sovereign country and they will make their own determination. Talk about Iran last week, uh, finding out that they're closer to developing a nuclear weapon than uh, originally uh, originally thought. What can President Obama do besides sanctions to prevent that from happening? Uh, the sanctions have to be intensified, and the key here would be both Russia and China. They have been unwilling to really join in uh, serious uh, sanctions, which could present the leaders of uh, Iran with an option. Either they change their policy or face regime change because the uh, the economic sanctions could be so severe. I think absent that, you're looking at the potential of a military option, and here you would want the best advice you can get from your military advisors. Mm. Is this something that would be wise to do? And that's something I think the president's obviously... Uh, in the process es- especially there, not something to undertake lightly. But speaking of nuclear threats, right. this is the focus of your book. Why did you choose at this point to write about a nuclear threat now? Well, I've uh, anyone who's occupied uh, my position, the position I had, Secretary of Defense or President of the United States, it's your worst nightmare. What happens if the unthinkable take place? Uh, how do you cope with it? Uh, what are the pressures you'll face in terms of providing relief to the people who've been har- harmed or killed? Uh, and what do you do about it? Who could have done this? How could they have done it? Why would they have done it? And then what do we do about it? All that's in the novel. Secretary Cohen, thank you very much. Good to have you with us here this morning.